In this lesson, we're going to continue by looking at our key, some key terms in geometry. All right, this term that we're dealing with now, we're speaking about parallel lines. And parallel lines are really two or more lines that are the same distance apart. And this word equidistance, it, it means the same thing as this statement here in geometry, same distance apart. So what we're saying, parallel lines are two or more lines um, that are the same distance apart and they never intersect or we can say they never meet all right now that's a, that's the definition now just look, let's look at what they're talking about right um, we're going to I'm going to be focusing on how we construct parallel lines using our ruler compass and a pencil okay now let me introduce you to my first piece of instrument this is my rule and this is a 15 centimeter rule okay from 0 to 15 so that's my rule let me just rest that aside good now another piece of instrument that I'll be introducing you to is my this is my compass okay now if you notice my compass um, my pencil in my compass when you are when you're putting in your pencil in your compass always know that the point of the pencil and the point of the compass as I have here they should be the same length okay you notice they are equal so that it must be lined up like that you get a better drawing okay and the length of the pencil must always be shorter than the compass you notice how tall my compass is and how short my pencil is because um, if the pencil is too long it, 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 it will be very difficult to handle okay it will be bumping up on your hand when you're drawing your arcs or swinging your circles now whenever you're working with the compass also you must always hold the compass at this point only at the top here at the apex of the compass well, having said all of that now, another thing I need you to note is that whenever you open your compass, as I'm doing now, if you notice, I'm opening up my compass, the distance between the point of the, from the point of the compass to the point of the pencil, whenever you open your compass, that distance is called a radius. So, for example, when your teacher asks you to open up your, to open your compass to a certain radius, um, they're just saying open your compass to 3cm, for example, or 4cm. Um, you, you you would measure this on the rule which I'm gonna be looking at shortly all right now having said that now good let's look at how we construct lines you con construct parallel lines using these two pieces of instruments let's say I had a line segment uh, PR so let's draw our line segment PR so let me make it a bit interesting let's use diagonal lines all right let's construct diagonal lines so I'm going to use my pen pencil and I'm going to start there let's say my line segment what's it PR let's say it is for example 8 cm so I have drawn my line segment 8 cm from 0 to 8 all right so I am through with that so I'm going to rest my ruler there and now what I'm gonna be doing here oh before I, s I move let me just mark it this is my line segment P R for example okay that's my line segment P R now we can be asked to construct a line another line segment uh, let's say MN that is three centimeters away from PR and both lines must be parallel to each other so let me just pull down my rule here a bit now if they're asking us to construct a line segment three centimeters and both lines lines should be parallel line segments should be parallel to each other then it simply means then I'm going to put my rule on my desk and I'm going to use my po the point of my compass place it at zero and I'm going to open up my compass to a radius of three like as I'm doing here if you notice I am opening up my compass to a radius of three cm all right or centimeters now well I'm through with my ruler so I can put it aside so what I'm gonna do now and please pay special attention once I have opened up my compass once I have opened up my compass to this radius I can't 
allow my compass to shift I must maintain this distance right throughout the procedure all right so now I am going to take my compass and I'm going to place it you can place it anywhere down here it doesn't matter where anywhere down here um, below half the length of the line all right it doesn't matter you could put it here or here or here so I'm going to place it right there and I'm going to use red lines okay why I'm using red lines to indicate that when um, the arcs when you're when you're when you're using your compass the arcs that you swing the arcs that you use your compass to swing uh, they should be faded okay they shouldn't be as bright as for example PR they should be dull lines okay so I'm going to swing an arc here so I've placed it there swung an arc there so that's my first arc and then now I am going to move my 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 compass and I'm going to place it anywhere up here again but it must be above half the length of this line alright so I'm gonna place it there for argument's sake on the line and I'm going to swing another arc up here okay now what I what I just did I've swung two arcs so now I am going to use my rule and I'm going to place my rule right here and I'm and the, the objective is that I'm going to draw a line that passes through the arcs okay that only passes through passes through the arc arcs at one place this this arc and that arc now watch me carefully now I'm going to line up my ruler with that arc let me just pull it down a little bit after I have <clears throat> after I've placed my ruler at the top of the arcs I'm just simply now going to draw a line from down here and it's going to touch the arc once nice so if you notice it touched the top of this arc and it touches the top of this arc notice it didn't cut through the arcs okay it didn't cut through them down here so basically that's how you construct a line parallel to another and I could give this line a name and let's say for example I call this line let's just give it a name it doesn't matter let's say I call it C D so in books you may see that let me move my my protractor up here sorry my, my bad my compass so let's move the compass and the ruler a bit so that we can see what is happening and just let's pull up this a little bit okay so what this is what this is saying really is that the line segment the line segment PR and let me use let me use a black line segment P PR okay the line segment PR and you'll see some strokes like that two strokes is parallel these two strokes mean parallel to the line segment C D as we have here in on or on our diagram so the line segment PR is parallel to the line segment CD and it's that easy that's how you construct a pair of parallel lines using your ruler pencil and a pair of compass bye bye